big influence. Uh, I like the, the, the mood, the energy, the sound. And just the feeling uh, being alive when I was a teenager. I found some, some, some stuff to, to be related to and uh, this album was, uh, was one of them. This album with uh, more than my friend, my brother, whatever. Uh, so with Emile Parisien, uh, our, so this is our second album uh, and it's about music from Tango and more South South America. This is the volume two of our duo. So now it's been 10 years we play together and I think there will be a, a third one. Playing with Emile is such a unique, unique, very special thing because when we met, I remember, we start playing, it was with uh, Daniel Humer, uh, the drummer the, in his quartet, and we felt like we've been playing together since forever. I mean, so it was really weird because we didn't know each other and then it was so obvious. And, uh, and this is how, you know, the, our, how can I say, our love story starts. BBA, uh, one of my uh, album I, I listen to, uh, so much. Uh, there is this one. There is a live also, and uh, I have, um, there is superstition from uh, from Stevie on this album, and uh, it's one of the best super trio uh, we had, uh, you know, in, in the music industry. I would say. So this is the the record we did together, Lento. Uh, it was pff, great memories. Uh, this all all this this period. Uh, uh, was really uh, helpful for me because um, she helped me to be more confident and uh, and you know and, and the music is just it's just uh, amazing and a great pleasure to, to, to play this music and um, I feel really close to uh, her musical uh, universe so uh, I, I'm very proud to be uh, to, to be part of uh, this journey. I think this is the first jazz album uh, I listened to. And uh, at this time, I didn't know what kind of music was that. And a friend brought me this CD, and I called him. I said, "What is it? It's not rock. It's not classic. What, what is this music?" He said, "Jazz." I said, "Jazz? Okay, I will learn this music." And um, with Bill Evans, I had um, I almost have every every recording on earth from uh, Bill Evans. So uh, it's a huge influence for me. <laughs> the one and the only one. Michel Portel. Uh, he's one of my uh, mentors. I listened to him uh, the very first time with Richard Galliano, the accordion player, and then I was like, who is this clarinet player? I don't know. He played Bandoneon also, so I've been into his music after that. And uh, yeah, Turbulence, this is one of his great albums, really, really. Uh, many songs I, I learned by heart, and uh, I had the opportunity for sure to play with Michel uh, many years later, and uh, it was so, so. Uh, so an honor to play with him. So uh, big, 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 big influence and big respect to Michel. A new, new sound in my ears with uh, Shabaka Hutchings, uh, Black to the Future. And uh, on this album, he plays many uh, wind instruments. It inspired me to, to, to record uh, the, my new album, Jokers, uh, because he plays a lot of clarinet on this album. And um, I used to be a clarinet player. And uh, listening to this album, I thought, hey, I should play the clarinet on my next album. The problem was I didn't play clarinet since 25 years. So I had to work, work a lot to be as good as I wanted. But uh, Son of Kemet, Black to the Future, all, all the recording from uh, Sons of Kemet are just amazing. I love it. I may listen to this album once, but to be honest, I don't really remember uh, this one, but yeah, one of the also great influence. And uh, even if you play the Bondonian, but if you play the accordion, you have to learn what is tango, who is Astor Piazzolla. So um, uh, when I was yeah very young, I, I started uh, working on the Astor Piazzolla music. Yeah. I have uh, two regrets uh, in my life. One is um, I didn't have the chance to play with a singer called Lassa, Lassa de Sala. And the other one is I didn't have the chance and the opportunity to meet Claude Nougaro and to play with him. And um, I'm a huge fan because my father was a, uh, is a huge fan. So when I was 10 or 11, 
I already knew, you know, uh, his voice, his music. So uh, uh, Claude Nougaro has been uh, was with me since uh, many many years. Jokers. Hmm. So this is this is the new album. Uh, I did it with uh, Federico Casagrande on guitar and uh, Zivravitz on drums. Let's say it's a new combination of my influences. So as you can see, it's a uh, quite a wide range and um, this one is more about rock, indie rock, alternative, I don't know. The best thing is you listen to it and maybe you can tell me. Many times the people tell me, you know, that the accordion, thanks to you, is, you know, uh, traveling in different musical uh, universe and it's not only in the musette, as in France we have. Um, and they say it's good that you think about that and it's very, very nice from you with the accordion and, and etc. But the fact is, I don't think about that in any kind of project because, yes, I play the accordion, this is the way I express myself and I'm living with all the music around and just uh, I could have so some rock music, classical music, pop music, hip hop music and then I try to figure out how can I play this kind of music with my instrument. So for sure, it could be some new sounds but the goal and uh, my, my, my purpose is just to make me feel happy because I can play this kind of music or this kind of music and if it sounds new or if it sounds something different, yeah, I'm happy but my goal is just to make me feel good and happy when I play the music.